All right, what's the deal with this funny little character right here, okay? Now, I got a few bones to pick with this fine woman right here. And by the way, she's very fun. I mean, oh, mercy. No, but seriously, and I just, how, how after everything that was nerfed from her after the season four patch, how the hell did she go from top tier, best character in the game, to top tier, best character in the fucking game? No, but seriously. Now, I know they had a lot of shoes to fill when Gogeta 4 dropped in terms of broken, right? Yeah, you know the that. leveling system, the level Fine, assist that gives you bars out. like base Your Goku, turn. and need I remind you, the level 7, you know, the insta-kill attack that you can literally do anything, and just murder an entire character. Oh, you called an assist? Yeah, not anymore, buddy. It's done, all right? You know, he had a lot of sh There, were, He was a pretty broken character. All right, and he still is, fusion meta and whatnot. So I'm assuming that's what they were thinking when they conceived of the idea of this abomination, okay? Whoa, 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 time out, pause. I just wanna take this time right now to preface that this video was made for fun and entertainment purposes. This is not by any means a professional analysis of the character Android 21 Lab Coat. So if you're an Android 21 Lab Coat main, that's fine. I completely respect it. Good on you. You're just using a character in the game, and that's all good. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, resume. I imagine them sitting in a big circle at Arxis, and they said to themselves, so Gogeta 4 is by far the most broken character in the game. How do we get more broken than a character that has a move that can kill you instantly? And by God, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Now, the funny thing is, is if I made this video months ago, it would it wouldn't even need to exist because Android 21 Lab Coat was by far the most broken character in the game. I don't know if you all remember this, but you remember when in the middle of a combo, she could just debuff you with her command grab level one. And not only does it debuff you, I think it's somewhere in the long lines of 15%. I can't exactly remember, but it also busts her damage. Are you out of your mind? And mind you, they fixed it, okay? You can't just throw that thing willy-nilly. In fact, whenever I play, I don't very much see it often. But y'all have to understand, it's still a command grab, and I'm stupid, and I get hit by command grabs. So not only did I just get command grab, not only did I just get level 1, I just got debuffed, and she just got buffed. Seriously? Now, mind you, I did say she got nerfed, and she got nerfed pretty heavily. If you look at all this, like, look at all this. Whoa, whoa, oh my god. It's like a paragraph you're reading right there of all of her debuffs. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this as well, but you know that funny little anti-air EX lariat that she can do round start that just nukes anything and everything that you've ever done? Yeah, that used to be a medium starter. She had so many TODs from that spin the win move. And by the way, don't even think about vanishing. You think to yourself, oh, they're just gonna hit me with the Lariat? Oh, well, I, I'm sparking. I can just vanish behind her back, call my assist, and maybe I can get a combo off it, right? No, it hits behind the fucking back. It hits behind, it, it hits behind the back. And that behind the back gimmick works for both of her EX Lariats. It's just crazy. Man. I don't understand. It's all. It's genuinely almost full screen. If you do anything in the air that isn't blocking, you could you could have gotten to your knee. You could have gotten just absolutely new. Now, like I said, it was patched. It's no longer a medium starter, which why it was a medium starter in the first place blows my mind. I didn't think we'd have to ask for that, but we did. And now that it's all gone, it's still the best move in the game. Think about it like this, right? You just knocked him down. It's Oki time, right? Oki time, everybody. Oki time. Woohoo! Oki time. Oki time. No! It's not Oki time. It's not fun anymore. See, let's just go with the simple overhead. No! Look at anti air move. Sniped out of the air. Full combo. Oh, okay, let me just do a little back dash because I think they're going to spark because they really want to keep their Android 29. No! Full move. Lariat. Anti air. You got sniped. Full combo. Right? Oh, uh, you know, oh, uh, shit. What do I do now? Uh, mm, they might do that little thing. No! Lariat. Full screen. Anti air. You're dead. I don't like you anymore. I know it's not a medium starter anymore, but it's still a full combo. Like, easy 4,000 damage, not even with supers. And I'm sitting here like, what did I do to deserve this? I'm just playing the game right. Now, I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. Skill issue, skill issue, just be better, just be better. And you guys want to know something? I don't even have a rebuttal for that. 
yeah, I suck. I, I've been doing so many of these combo videos, these TOD videos, that I haven't even had a chance to actually play the real game. And now I kind of just suck at it. I'm pretty buns, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still a, just a crazy, crazy move. Especially when you think of characters like, I don't know, Frieza. He has no EX in the air moves. He has nothing. What can he do? Go behind the back? You know what I mean? I'm not the best player in the game, but I can see Broken when I see Broken, all right? I got 20-20 vision for Broken characters. I don't need no prescription to see that. And you want to know something, too? I'm going to put this out there on the line right now, all right? God bless Lotus Asakura. Great YouTuber. Everybody go check him out. If you're watching my video, you should watch his video because he's just better than me in every single way. And when Android 21 dropped, he was so happy for her. And I could see in his eyes, he genuinely just thought Android 21 was fun. Just a fun, interesting new character. And he was excited to play her. You know what I mean? I think he genuinely thought she was just a fun character. Me, personally, I think she's the most boring character in the game. She does the same thing. There's, there's no cool combo routes for her. You know what I mean? Like, when she first dropped, everything about her was pretty, pretty unique. You know what I mean? She had an easy re-jump. It was very, very unique, and I could see why somebody like Lotus would be very excited to play a character like her with her moveset. Not because she's broken, but because she's new and unique. But now, after her being out for months and months and months, she's just stale. Just boring. She doesn't do anything fun. You know what I mean? Even Gogeta and Vegito have some pretty nifty combo routes that they can do. They can do some pretty interesting stuff. I mean, look at Vested Drift. You know what I mean? He does some crazy Vegito stuff all the time. But Android 21 just has no awesome, cool combos. You know what I mean? But like I said, Lotus, I can see it. He thought she was just a fun character. And that's respectable. I can get behind that. But for a casual player like me, who just hops in online casual, and most of the time ranked too, when you see Android 21, you're not going to see like Android 18 and Zamasu behind her. You're not going to see Android 21 lab coat and Videl and Nappa. You're not going to see that, all right? And if you do, it's rare. It's extremely, extremely rare. You know what you do see Labco 21 with? Uh, Vegito Gogeta or Vegito Gogeta or Gogeta Gogeta. You know what I mean? You don't see Android 21 on a team that's not already broken. You see Android 21 on a team that's already broken as shit. You know what I mean? But hey, you know what I mean? What can you really do about it? So with all that being said, guys, I'm already touching the waters a little bit by making this video, you know, six or seven minutes long. So I don't want to go on a three hour long rant about why I suck and why Android 21 lab coat is dominating me in every aspect of life. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you're not subscribed right now, I, I can't tell you what's wrong with you. I really can't. You know what I mean? You should just go ahead and hit that funny little red button, make it gray. Puts a big smile on my face and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. See y'all later. And, uh, fuck. I don't know what else to say. I hate you guys. I'm just kidding. I love you guys.